on a sunny day in the wilderness. Three contestants gathered to play a game they thought was called the Ultimate Team Challenge. One of those contestants was an actor planted to make life miserable for the other two. The other two thought they were playing a game against another team. In fact, they were playing against each other in a game really called Man Up. First impression of the contestants today, we have Merwin, just a ball of energy. Guy's ready to go, ready to do anything. He's crazy. In comes Wayne, and he's the Hercules of a man. These dudes are fearless. I got to work him up. When I first saw Merwin, I thought he looked like a stand-up guy. Uh, we clicked right off the bat. Then James walked through the door, and I was like, uh, okay, who's this guy? He seemed like a young kid, a little arrogant. You know, he was a little cocky. He came in with some wise comments, and I'm like, who's this guy, you know? My first impression of James, James thought he was the brains of the whole operation. Now Wayne, <laughs> what can you say? That guy's huge. This looks like a good crew. Hello, sir, and welcome. Thank you. How are you nice doing? To, I'm great. Nice to see you. Thank you. Hey, man. Nice to see What's you, my friend. Man? What's going What's on? Howdy. How are you? What's your name? James. James? Merwin. Merwin and? Wayne. Welcome to the Ultimate Team Challenge, the game that combines brains and brawn and speed because, guys, Merwin, uh, James, and Wayne. Wayne, another team has run this course we're going to put you through, OK? Beat their time. And you guys become the ultimate team challenge winners. Merwin? That's easy, man. Is that That's easy? easy man. <laughs> okay, and Not James? Easy. easy. Wayne? We got this. Are you a team? Team. Team. Yeah, I'm right, we're team. Um, all right, here's how this works. I'm going to give you guys 10 questions in 75 seconds. If you get seven of the 10 questions correct, I'm going to hand you a card and you tell me what the challenge is. If you get less than seven, someone's going to touch some goo and pick up some coins, and that's how we get the challenge. Merwin, are you all right? Yeah, deal. Seem a little, uh... Nah, man, I'm good. You good? good? I mean, I'm ready to good? roll, man. All right, Wayne, you got very shiny teeth. James, <laughs> you, have, you have teeth. I'm the brain, I have teeth. <laughs> I am the brain. All right, guys, let's hear the noises you make. All right. What's on top of your helmet there? Let me see your helmet, let me see it. <laughs> he, has, he has a Disney princess house on the top of his helmet. <laughs> How'd that even happen? All right, guys, here we go. Make a noise. Don't answer until you make the noise. All you have to do is name the color. I'm going to give you a clue. You name the color that I'm referring to. Okay. All right, Wayne, here we go. The color of the middle traffic light. Yellow. You got to hit the, the. Remember, I just said. There you go. What is it? Yellow. All right, fine. The color of Barney the dinosaur. Pink. No, that's not true. Purple. Purple, exactly. If your business is losing money, it's in the. Red. You are correct. The color of grass, Wayne. Green. You are correct. The Toronto blank Jays. Anyone? Blue. You are correct. They're blue. Uh, anyone? The color of the UPS delivery truck. Who? Uh, pardon? Is what? Uh, Did he say poo? Brown. <laughs> Wait, no. The color of the UPS delivery truck. <laughs> you cracked the one up. What? Time? We, they ran out of time because dude said poo. <laughs> I meant brown. I meant brown. All right, guys. You know what? No big deal. I'm just going to get some uh, goo here. <laughs> I got to get the goo bucket. Looks like some oatmeal. That's some, there's, you know what? It's just nasty. It's just days old oatmeal. You guys figure out who's going to pick out two coins and I'll give you a card. You can read it. Oatmeal is great for muscles if you want to dig on it. <laughs> <laughs> guys, Merwin? time's a wasting here. Merwin. Go for it, buddy. Two How many? Man. Two? Two, Just coins. two coins. Two coins. Two coins in the goo fountain. Man, <laughs> there ain't no coins in here. <laughs> oh, dig, there's gotta be. Got one? Dig, dig. There you go. Oh, one one more, buddy. We're being tired. And number nice. two. Wayne, yes. do me a favor, read that challenge card. This first challenge is called Edward Spatula Hands. Mer hold on a sec. <laughs> Merwin, <laughs> what are you doing, brother? We're trying, we're doing a show here, man. Uh, do we have another shirt for him? We have. We can get him another shirt. No. All right. Uh, Merwin. Oh my. <laughs> Merwin is drunk. Merwin, let him drink. Uh, let him uh, read this. This first challenge is called Edward Spatula Hands. Edward Spatula. Your fingers will be replaced by spatulas. Then, working as a team, you have to transport a series of items from one place to the next. Don't drop anything, or you have to start again. You know, a lot of people call those spatulas. 
Well, you know what? I like spatulas. It's Edward's Spatula Hands. <laughs> this is the ultimate team challenge. I'm telling you, it's going to be fun. You can tell Merwin's <clears throat> lost his mind. Come on back and see how it all plays out. James, well, uh, thanks for being here, buddy. <laughs> As you can see, I'm covering all in this goo. <laughs> Yep. And uh, you can't see his junk, but he's actually covered in goo, too. <laughs> can't see my junk. Team. I'm jumping in goo. We all jumping in goo, baby. Recognize that, man. You know me. Little well, that was an interesting start to the game. The real contestants have learned that James maybe isn't the brains of the team, as he claimed to be, and that he thinks that poo is a color. Coming up, the guys compete in a rather strange competition that really doesn't make any sense. And later, the real dudes will have to eat some live protein. When the Ultimate Team Challenge, Man Up returns. It's the Ultimate Team Challenge, Man Up. Two real contestants and a fake dude try to work together, all the while being punked by James. So far, Big James claims to have a big brain, but didn't seem to use it for the trivia. Merwin is proving to be a very odd competitor, and Boston Wayne is, well, just a really huge dude. Now it's time for the team to compete in their first challenge, Edward Spatula Hands. Welcome back to the Ultimate Team Challenge. We had a, an amazing first segment there. All sorts of stuff happened. I'm not sure if you saw it, but at one point, Merwin, who is here, uh, took some oatmeal and he rubbed it on Wayne's uh, chest and then somehow oatmeal got on Wayne, um, James' crotch. Am I, am I up to date now? What, uh, let's start with Mer Merwin, dude. What was that all about? We're a team, brother. We gotta look the part. Yeah. Do you have a name, a team name yet? Uh, we've yet to work one out so far. Okay, Merwin, what do you do for a living? Uh, I currently work for Bell Canada. And uh, we do uh, just fix on some phone lines whenever it goes down. And you show up and you put oatmeal on everybody. You them right. <laughs> oh, man. How proud <laughs> Bell will be to know that you are representing uh, Wayne, you, uh, what do you, I'm, I, you're in good shape, I'm getting you, are you a personal trainer? I am, on the you side. You are? On the on side, the side. Yeah. What side? What do you do regularly? I'm a buyer for a big home improvement warehouse company. Very nice. Yes. And uh, how often uh, would you work out in a week? Like five, six days a week, easily. Come on! Are you juiced? Are you on the never, juice? Never, never touched Are you sticking it. needles in your never, boobies? Never have, never will. 11 okay. Years, 11 years strong. Okay, and where are you from originally? Boston. Great to have you here, my friend. Thank you. And of course, your teammate is uh, James, who has oatmeal on his wiener. James, what do you do for a living? I work in a bowling alley. I make sure the shoes are clean and I've learned about funguses, so I know how to disinfect all kinds. Well, we've got quite a crew. We have a, uh, uh, someone who works for Bell, we've got someone who's uh, doing uh, buying, and then we've got the uh, shoe boy. Shoe boy. <laughs> shoe boy. All right, guys, we call this Edward Spatula Hands. All you have to do is get all these items from this side to that side in the least amount of time. And, and Merwin, do me a favor, don't be throwing eggs on people's crotches. Deal. Guys, you understand? <laughs> you can only use the spatulas, and everyone has to get a couple eggs, a couple cans, and a bunch of weenies. Guys, it's the ultimate team challenge. James, let's, let's go. It starts now. Let's go. <laughs> Just kidding. This is hard. Well, no, go. no, come no, on. James, don't toss them. Oh, and by the way, if you drop, if you drop some, you got to come back and start again. No, you got to, you got to take them from here to there. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Really? Was that not clear? Okay, so you take some wieners. Go deep, deep. We're being timed. Go, 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 go. Go, go. There you go. And look at, you Three. need two eggs. And there you go, Merwin. Spatula. Whoa, we're being timed. Being timed. Uh, oh. Okay, go for uh, the wieners first. Go for the wieners. Would this be the first time you've touched the wieners with a spatula? Maybe not. Okay, very nice, very nice. Oh, Merwin's, you know, a little crazy, clumsy on his feet. Hercules is squishing <laughs> eggs with his Hercules hands. Come on, Wayne. soft hands, muscles, soft hands, there muscles. There we go. You got it covered, baby boy. There you go. Seriously, Merwin, you're horrible at this. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Who wants to be out there in the hot ass sun for 49 minutes picking up cans with your damn spatulas? There you go. There you go. Look at Wayne has now figured it out as well. Muscly hands. Muscly hands. Every time that I picked up one of those items, it went right back right into the uh, into the bowl. So I took care of my own and my team. I'll tell you what. Get this can in and it's over. Time. Oh. That's as much. That's as much as we can all stand. Get back in line here. Good lord, guys. What was going on? <laughs> that was pathetic. Wayne, unbelievable. And James, I. Maybe you want to stick to bowling shoes. We've got more of the Ultimate Team Challenge, though. These guys are just getting started, as are we. Please come back and see how this thing works out, please. I mean, seriously, give them a chance. 
So the team is off to a rather slow start. Both James and Merwin were quite bad at Edward's spatula hands, but Boston Wayne got the job done. Coming up, we'll see if the real guys can stomach these disgusting creatures while James chokes down some sweet chocolate. And later, we'll see which of the guys is willing to bleed for his team. Literally. When the Ultimate Team Challenge, Man Up, returns. Welcome back to the Ultimate Team Challenge or as you know by now, is really a game called Man Up with two real contestants and a fake guy whose job is to mess everything up for the team. So far, James, the fake contestant, hasn't helped out in the trivia and just flung a few weenies during the first challenge. Soon he'll shock his teammates by not being able to eat a tiny bit of chocolate while they eat probably the worst thing they ever will in their entire life. But first, let's play another round of trivia. Well, 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 well. Welcome back to the Ultimate Team Challenge. I'm Howard, that's James, there's Merwin. He's a wizard. And then, of course, there's Wayne, who is all pumped up. Mm, steroids. Wayne and I look a lot alike, eh? Seriously. Similar, similar, you're looking at me, you're thinking, that guy is pumped. Uh, all right, guys, here we go. Another 10 questions, 75 seconds. Get seven to 10 right. I'm just gonna hand you a card. We're gonna play the game, all right? Don't get seven, I gotta put your hands in some disgusting goo, and then we get some coins and it's all good, okay? Hands on your horns. Wayne, do me a favor. If you answer, go beep, answer. Not answer, oh beep, then answer, okay? Gotcha. Merwin, you know what you're doing. Don't touch anybody with any more oatmeal. Here we go, the category is toughest movie stars. Number one, he drives cars and kills people. The transporter is? Muscles. Muscles, his name. Jason Statham. Thank you, number one. He entered the dragon. He is Bruce. Bruce Lee. You are correct. This actor was punched out in Rocky, but always drew first blood. Wayne? <laughs> Sylvester Stallone. You are correct. Merwin, look at you. I'm a movie guru, man. Recognize. Here we go, toughest movie stars. He spent some time in the governor's mansion, but he'll be back. Arnold Schwarzenegger. You are correct, sir. Number five, he is tiny but fierce, has the same last name as Bruce. Jet? Lee. You are correct. He was Bond, the original Bond. James Bond. James Bond. <laughs> that was funny, eh? Uh, no, we're, told, we're looking for Sean Connery. All right, let's keep going. Oh, Even though he sings and dances like a girly, he is one of the X-Men with sharp claws. Elton John. Elton John is wrong. <laughs> wrong. Movie stars. Toughest. Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman is correct. He drives fast and furious, and his last name actually can be used as fuel. Vin Diesel? You are correct. That's I, they got they got them all. They were amazing. You guys gotta give some big ups to Merwin. Nice work, buddy. He redeemed himself nice after, work. you know, covering us with that goo, yeah. man. All right, good Merwin, job, Merwin, job, Merwin, Merwin, read that for us. Yes, sir. You? Nice and loud. All right, second challenge. Picnic from hell. You and your team is going on a picnic you'll never forget. You have to eat all the items to complete the challenge, and that means all of them. Some of you will probably puke. It's called Picnic from Hell, and here's why. All right, Ultimate Team Challenge, we're going to be putting you right to the test. We're going to start off by eating a tarantula. Just kidding. This is my pet. We ain't going to be eating anything like that. Going into the nice fatty stuff that we all like to eat, we have our wax worms. Small, maggot looking like, but very, very fatty. Okay, so uh, delicious is what I'm told. Tomato hornworms. They like the jelly donuts. Nice, fat, juicy. When you bite into them, they just squirt into your mouth. Very, very rich in calcium. Good luck, guys. I'm Lee from Reptilia. Bon appetit. Thank you, Lee from Reptilia. Well explained, as always. Okay, guys, uh, what Lee has set aside for your picnic from hell is very simply some, some crawly things. You guys have a queasy stomach? A Wayne? Bit, man, a little bit, yeah. Merwin, you're a tough man. Yeah. James, how about you? Nothing upsets this good. Because really. you deal with people's stinky feet all the time. Right. At the bowling alley. All right, guys, here's what you have to eat. Somebody has to eat one of these avatar-like bugs. So one of those, somebody has to eat two turtles filled with nuts and caramel. What if you have a peanut allergy? Your head would blow up. That's disgusting. Or three of these creepy crawly things. You guys decide who eats what. One, two, three. They've all got to go down somebody's hole. And your time starts now. No. Shoddy. <laughs> I've been eating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not eating these bad boys. There's no way I'm Just eating one, these. Just one. One of those. Did you eat one? Did you, how did you, there's one. There's two. This man's doing it. I'll eat ten maggots to his one avatar-looking bug, man. Forget that. There's three. 
Wash it down, wash it down. Jesus. Oh, wait a second. I just got puked on. And I bit on that and like some stuff squirted all over the host. It squirted all over the host. That was the most disgusting thing I've ever tried in my entire life. Like seriously? Okay. You all right? You got it, man. You got it. You OK? You OK? Done. Yeah! Done. Come on, James, you got it, baby. You got it, baby. You got it. You got it. You, got it. you, got it. you just on, threw you up on me a little it, bit. No, nah, it was squared out the bugs. Oh, the bugs. Oh man. Y'all don't want to do that. I thought that stuff was fake until I bit into it. Oh my god. He had a full belly. <laughs> Go check the host. Look at his arm, <laughs> all covered with some goo. Oh, hey, dude, it. get the turtle you got down. It, man. You got it. You got it. You got Is he it. really having trouble with the turtle? Yes, sir. Those <laughs> turtles are nasty. I see you guys eating that. And I start puking. I, I start feeling the caramel in my teeth. Oh, God. I feel the caramel. There was really nothing in that thing? No. I oh, God. I thought there were bugs in I there, I felt man. the caramel in my teeth. Oh, Seriously, get yes, the turtle down. Are you guys letting it? Merwin. He's on his own, man. He's a big boy. It. The madness thought it was actually turtles, but it turned out to be caramel turtles. Avatar bugs, that's just a little bit weird, but there's nothing wrong with eating maggots like a man. Boy. Time! <laughs> a big boy. Okay, so I feel better now. That wasn't contested puke. That was bug guts yeah, on me. Killed that. <laughs> yeah. You, killed you know it. what? You Here's what I, this is when I realized I should have paid more attention in school. I really should have. Anyway. I'm sorry, man. He had a full belly. It's the ultimate team challenge. Come up and uh, see how come back and <laughs> come back and see how we wrap this thing up right after this. <laughs> it's like seriously. Look at that. Wow, that was a proud moment for me. Wearing gigantic worm guts on TV. Super. Anyhow, the real contestants definitely stepped up to the plate and ate some repulsive bugs, all the while thinking James was actually eating real turtles. Now they've really learned what a baby he is. Coming up, which one of these guys will actually bleed for the team? Find out next when the Ultimate Team Challenge, Man Up, returns. Welcome back to the Ultimate Team Challenge, or as you figured out, is actually a game called Man Up. The twist is that two of the guys are real, and one of the contestants is real lame. On purpose, he's been terrible at trivia, sucked at Edward's spatula hands, and nearly cried when he had to eat some chocolate. The real dudes are pretty much tied after eating some maggots and a big blue worm. Although, to be fair, Wayne didn't actually eat the worm guts. Instead, he just decided that I should wear them. Now for the tie-breaking challenge, Dominatrix. Dude, honest to God, for a second there, I thought, did Wayne just puke on me? Um, if you missed that part, you know, go back and, you know, PVR, whatever, but you had a big giant bug, you took a, uh, you took a bite of it. Absolutely. And it's got squished all over your buddy Absolutely. Howard. I had to kill him before he went inside the, you know, inside the mouse. Yeah. And you did well with the little bugs, unbelievable. You guys thought that he was actually eating turtle? I thought this man was gonna hold it down for us. I thought he was gonna be the one that would just like clean anything that comes in front of us. <laughs> That's what was so That's... funny about it. He couldn't even get the caramely chocolate goodness. Uh, and this guy's like, these guys are eating bugs. Anyways, guys, will you allow me to read your third challenge? Absolutely. All right, here we go. This one's simply called Dominatrix. One of you has to get something pierced. That's this man, because he, he dropped the ball on all of us, man. You decide which one, and then the other two, you, you cheer on that tough son of a <laughs> Who's going to get the piercing? We, uh, I, I'm not of it, man. I'm I putting can't. Paper, <laughs> I have thin blood, man. Thin blood, I will bleed I'm off out. Dudes. I Merwin, will bleed out. Wayne, I James. Merwin's going to do it. Mer the madness was out to prove to you, you, this chick gawking here, this guy holding the moo boom mic, that the fact is that the madness was out to, here to the, prove to the whole world that he was here to win. First of all, let me introduce from Extreme uh, Piercing and Tattoos, the lovely BB. Guys, come on, give it up for BB. Hey, guys. Hello. Hello, how are you? Her actual first name is Lovely, last name is BB. Lovely BB. What are you looking at? I was looking at nothing. I was just checking out a tattoo. She got a nice tattoo oh, right there. Oh, were you? Y'all get a close up on that tattoo. That's a nice tattoo. Oh, yeah, all of a sudden Wayne's directing. Just being honest. All right, so uh, <laughs> BB, uh, the choices are eye, eyebrow, nose. eyebrow, nose, dermal, which is a, you pierce some part of your skin, just jab it right in there, or nipple. Yeah. Reach in there. Just Mermans, just do it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> What's it say? Nipple. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a nipple winner. All right, Merwin, get over here. Phoebe, do your thing. Come on, man. You can do this. You can do it, this. All you, all That's what happened. Come on over here. Sit down for a second. All right, as you can see through the uh, magic of TV, Merwin has got uh, his shirt off. He's getting ready for a, 
uh, nipple piercing. If I just may, uh, excuse me for uh, crossing in front of you, it's it's nipple spelled N-I-P-L-E. Really, Rob? Not really, Massimo? Really, nipple? Nipple? Uh, as well, I think I made a mistake with the company. It's extremities tattoo and piercing. All right, we're all we're all up to date, Merwin. Both contestants are totally neck and neck, but when he decided to get his nipple pierced, I was just like, you know what? That takes balls. That's a man right there. I love you, mom. He's a champ. Okay, one, one two, 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 three. three. You got this. Oh, oh you got you this. Mother you got this. You got. Oh man, you're a champ. First, that was you nothing. Champion. You can't do that. Bad. I bet you didn't think he was actually gonna do that. His nipple was pierced, buddy. Unfreaking believable. Seriously, Merwin, come on, you guys, give it up for Dude, Merwin. Good job, man. Badass. In fact, if you will allow me, stay there for a second, BB Merwin. I want you to open up this case now and read what's inside. BB, thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Lovely as always. Very nice. All right, Merwin, open that case, read it loud, let everyone know what it says. Here we go. Here, just, here we go. Let me help you with that. Thank you, sir. Let me take this. The name of this game isn't the ultimate challenge, and you're not playing together. You've actually been competing with each other in a game called Man Up, and oh, by the way, one of your teammates is a plant. What? Get set to find out who that is and which one of you is the Man Up champ. Merwin? What the heck is going on here? Wayne, are you the plant? Merwin, are you? Seriously, who do you think the plant is? Who do you think the fake contestant is? Who do you think I'm it gonna, is? I'm gonna bank on James what, on this one. What, what tells you that? You couldn't eat turtles, man. Unbelievable. Who doesn't eat turtles? Meet James, he works for us. This is James, oh, Wayne, James. Merwin. Yeah, I had no idea you guys actually had this whole thing set up as a plant. Uh, you guys got me on that one. James, you played with these guys today. Just tell us who you think uh, manned up best. You know, the whole time I was feeling Wayne, you, you know, energy. Power, energy, power. Yeah. But towards the end there, Merwin, he's just like, yeah, I want metal in my nipple. <laughs> he just, he took it and I got to give it to him. I Listen, gotta give it to him. He took a bullet for the team. Merwin, stand up and get your belt. Oh. Merwin is your man up champion. There you go. Merwin, you got the belt, but guess what, buddy? I still got the muscles. The madness is here to stay. It didn't matter if he had to eat bugs, wrestle a shark, or punch fire in the face. He was good. He was great, and he was the ultimate champion. So join us next time for the ultimate team challenge, or is it really called Man Up?